Newton's method can be used in uh, a lot of uh, scenarios, and this is this is another one that it can be used. Um, <coughs> Newton's method to approximate the sixth root of two, and we could use it for just square roots or any size root, if you will, that we want. <clears throat> um, the only thing is, to use Newton's method, you need an equation. And stating it as uh, square root of six over two, uh, sixth root of two is, is not an equation format. So just think about, well, what, what equation would that be the solution to? And it's a fairly simple one, right? Because if I <coughs> um, if I had you know x to the sixth equals two, that that's one form of the equation, right? Just take x to the sixth. That would be the solution to that. The sixth root of two would be the solution because that's six root both sides. You see what I'm saying? But Newton's method, you need one side to be zero, and so the actual function of the equation. Subtract the two, right? So that would be the appropriate equation for Newton's method to solve to get this six root of two. So you just have to convert your root to uh, to an equation. All right, so that's my f of x for Newton's method. Um, now, if I, if I graph it, I can kind of get an idea. It probably it's not uh, a terribly hard one, but so x to the 6th minus 2, if I look at the graph of that, of course, I'm talking here the positive root. So, yeah, it's, it's basically, I mean, we could, if we wanted to get quicker to the answer, maybe, uh, let's see, zoom in a little bit. Here's what that looks like. So it's real close to one, but if you zoom in, maybe you get, uh, well, yeah, so it's, <coughs> one's actually over here a little bit. So it's maybe 1.1. 1 .1. I mean, you could start with one, but to make it a little closer, I guess, 1.1 1 .1 for the X1 initial approximation. Whatever, <coughs> it's up to you. All right, so the next two, <coughs> we take x for Newton's method. It's x1 minus f of x1 divided by f prime of x1. Um, <coughs> what I plug those into, so if I use 1.1, .1, I plug those in. However, by hand, I'm wanting it to six, six places or... Uh, whatever, eight, calculator displays eight or nine, so <laughs> it's several cycles. So a good way to do it is with the calculator. So <clears throat> on the TIs, it's the A and S button that we're going to use here. Um, <clears throat> instead of X1, I'm going to call it A and S minus, and so F of X1, plug in A and S, if you will, and that's just A and S to the sixth minus two, uh, f prime, then for the bottom, f prime of x would just be six x to the fifth, so that's a pretty easy derivative compared to some others we've used, but um, f prime x1, so instead of x1, we use a and s, so it'd be six a and s to the fifth would be the entry there for that, and then, like I said, don't forget parentheses, I mean, I'll, yeah, do get there, <coughs> parentheses around top and bottom. All right, so you put in the 1.1, hit enter, and then use this A and S button, which is on the TI-84 anyway, is right above the negative sign at the bottom. So second A and S minus, then parentheses, A and S to the sixth, minus five, uh, minus two, sorry. Close parentheses divided by parentheses six, A and S to the fifth. And once you, it's a little bit to get it set up, but just hit enter, and you just have to keep hitting enter a couple of times. 1.1236404441. Yeah, show those places there. X3 then, just hit the enter button, you get X3, because it does the same thing over again. <coughs> yeah, 
hit enter again, you get X4, and it should start repeating. X5, X1.122, okay, yeah, so it's the same. Same as X4, so that's it to, I got six and I got more. I got nine places there, so. With me? All right, we'll see if we can get that to work. But it's a nice uh, <coughs> nice problem there to show you how this Newton's method can be used. <coughs> now, another one in the homework. <coughs> now, I just show I won't go through the whole, whole deal again, but say I want to do the uh, 4 through to 5. Same way. What equation would that be? Well, it's fourth root, and so I'm talking about an x to the fourth equation. x to the fourth would equal five. So that would be x to the fourth minus five equals zero, just to give you one more example, and then, and then proceed similarly. Okay, so it's not, not too bad. All right, <clears throat> now the other one here, <clears throat> That uh, other type of problem that will come up on this assignment is this. Okay, so show that the algorithm x sub n plus 1 equals 2 thirds x sub n plus 1 third a x sub n to the negative 2 can be used to approximate the cube root of any number a. So it's, it's really a similar problem, just, uh, well, it's a little different, I guess. But, uh, <clears throat> what they're wanting you to use is this Newton's method because, you know, Newton's method, x of n plus 1, I guess I'm just right here, x of n plus 1, Newton's method says it's x of n minus f of x of n divided by f prime of x of n. That's how they usually show Newton's method, the formula for it, right? Is, this is how, so that's where the x of n plus 1 comes in. So it's just showing, <coughs> what this wanting us to show is that for this particular problem, this will simplify to be this. This 2 thirds x of n, 1 third times a, a is just that number, okay? They just want to show that that's what this comes out to be for this problem. Now, we're talking about the cube root of a, and so just like we were doing on that previous finding the cube sixth root of two or fourth root of five, we need to convert this to an equation. What would the equation be? So we're talking about the cube root of A here. We're trying to estimate it, if you will. So what's the equation? Well, it would be x cubed equals A would be, the cube root of A would be the solution there. So the equation that I would be using would be x cubed minus A equals zero the Newton's method for this to work, you need it equals zero. So, okay, see where that comes from? Okay, <clears throat> so that's my f of x. And therefore, uh, f prime of x, well, it's just the derivative. A is just a number, so the derivative of that's zero, so it's just 3x squared. So let's plug in what we what we can. All right. So x of n is just x of n. F of x of n. Well, I plug in. This means I plug in for x. I plug in x of n. So it'd be x of n cubed minus a. And then f prime of x of n. Well, I plug in x of n there. So it'd be three x of n squared. See what I did there? I just 
I just plug in x of n here and here. That's where I got that. Well, that's not quite what they have here. So it's just simplifying a few things. How can I simplify this? Well, one way I can simplify this is I could uh, <clears throat> break this up. I could say, uh, I'm going to do parentheses now, so it would be x of n cubed divided by 3 x of n squared minus a over 3 x of n squared. So I'm just basically taking both of those, separating both of those, dividing both of those separately by 3x of n squared. <clears throat> the first one there, and notice I put parentheses around because this minus will change both of those. Um, <clears throat> yeah, here, that's just uh, x of n cubed divided by x of n squared. That would be um, x of n to the first over 3, right? Basically what happens is this x of n squared cancels two of those out and leaves me with a one power of that, okay? I mean, it gets confusing because I've got subscripts and powers, so it's kind of what's confusing, but yeah, these, these two will cancel with two of these and leave me just one of those, right? That's what I'm saying. And then you still got the three and the five. Over here, <clears throat> well, nothing cancels there. So we'll just uh, leave it as is for now. Yeah, but <clears throat> so this this becomes uh, this minus affects both of those. So this becomes x of n plus one equals x of n minus x of n over three plus a over 3 x of n squared. These are like terms right here. It's x of n and x of n. They're like terms. So you got a 1 x of n minus, wouldn't that be 1 third of an x of n? So isn't that 2 thirds x of n when you combine these? Right? We're almost there. Plus, now, looking at this, isn't that the same as that? Yeah, because you got one-third, you got your A, and then you can write that as X sub N to the negative two power. Ta -da. All right, so it's a little, <coughs> a little bit tricky there, but just another type of problem I'm going to show you. Any questions on that?